Welcome to Atlanta for a great day in Hawks history as we introduce our new general manager. My name is Bob Rathbun, the television voice of the Hawks on Fox Sports Southeast, and we'd like to welcome all of you here in attendance at Phillips Arena this morning, and also those of you who are watching us in a variety of ways. We are streaming live on Hawks.com. We are on Facebook Live. We're also on the air on Fox Sports Southeast and on the Fox Sports Go app, so we welcome one and all to the introduction of Travis Schlink. Uh, we would like to, before we get going, point out that uh, Coach Budenholzer would love to be here, but he is attending the high school graduation of his son. But I am assured that Coach Bud is watching on Hawks.com today and uh, sends, all, obviously, his best and wanted to be here as well. And that his son will graduate. Yes, <laughs> and we think he's, he's on track, so yeah. that's good. Uh, we would like to uh, welcome all of you, our owners are in attendance uh, as well, uh, that are here today for this, uh, this great day and a very significant day uh, for the Hawks. We would like to begin with remarks from our principal owner, Tony Ressler. Tony. Thanks, Bob. Thank you, and good morning. Today, we're here to formally introduce Travis Schlank as our general manager and head of basketball operations to the Atlanta community. Travis is a critically important part of what we're working very hard to accomplish here in Atlanta, to bring and create, to bring a championship and create a championship caliber franchise. Travis is a high character person and an experienced leader. I'd like to highlight three of his background, three areas of his background, which are and were, if you will, of particular interest to us when we were doing our search. First, Travis held key leadership positions at Golden State. He was intimately involved in several key acquisitions and trades that helped form the team into what it is today. And as you can see from today, and from today's Golden State Warriors, he truly comes with a championship pedigree. Second, Travis started at the very bottom of a basketball franchise. He was a video coordinator at the Miami Heat before moving to a video scout, then an assistant coach, and ultimately as director of player personnel for the Warriors. He has deep, full range experience in basketball operations understands what a quality franchise has to be. Third, and maybe most importantly, we're convinced that Travis is an extraordinary collaborator. He leverages and will leverage our great basketball operations and great coaching staff. No one person can do it alone, and we want a team that works hard both on and off the court. Right now, as a reputation, many people come to play for the Hawks and know that they will get better playing for Coach Bud. Soon, they will come to play for a championship. As I've mentioned previously, our ownership group is committed to providing the resources required to achieve these goals. During the interview process, Travis mentioned how he appreciated what this franchise has done in just two short years to become more player friendly. A new practice facility in partnership with Emory has state-of-the-art medical staff and equipment as well as rehab facilities and will help this process a great deal. Our D-League franchise starting this year before moving to a new facility in College Park will help as well. So please understand, we're trying to do everything we can to move the Atlanta Hawks to that next level. Travis Schlank is an incredibly important part of that process. With that, I'd like to introduce you to our new general manager. We're excited to have him. I think you guys will be soon as well. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Um, the success that we had in Golden State started with great ownership. Going through this process, the interview process, getting to know Tony, 
uh, spending time with Jamie, the minority owners, Grant, Stephen, and Rick. I felt the passion they have for this franchise, not only the franchise, but the community of Atlanta. Uh, as Tony just mentioned, the resources they're putting in with the new practice facility, the D-League team, uh, the renovation they're gonna be doing to the arena here, and then also for the community, the redevelopment they're gonna be planning downtown. You can sense where they wanna take this organization, and that was a really big part of me wanting to come here and be a part of that. So Tony, thank you for allowing me to be a part of that. First off, uh, I need to thank my wife. Uh, my wife is the backbone of our family. I've got three young kids, and without her keeping it together at home, I wouldn't be sitting here today. Um, she's, she's been there from day one with me, so I really need to, need to make sure that I thank her. So we got that out of the way. <laughs> you can never go wrong starting that. <laughs> yeah, she, as, as I've learned many times. Right? <laughs> no, she couldn't be here today. My kids are still in school back in California, but uh, I know they're watching. So just want to let them know that without them, I wouldn't be here. Then I've been unbelievably fortunate in the past to work with some of the best people in the NBA, starting as an intern with the Orlando Magic uh, when Chuck Daly, John Gabriel were the head coach and general manager, and being able to learn from those guys was a great stepping stone. Then, as Tony mentioned, I worked in Miami. Pat Riley was the patriarch of that franchise, obviously, but the other coaches that were there, Stan Van Gundy, Jeff Bizdelic, Mark Arveroni, and obviously Eric Spolstra, all those guys have gone on to be head coaches in the NBA and to be able to spend time with them and learn from, from them was very important to my upbringing in the NBA. And then obviously in Golden State, we had Don Nelson, Chris Mullen, and then the current group we have now, Joe Lacob and Peter Guber, Bob Myers, uh, Larry Riley in the beginning, and then obviously Jerry West, as you guys know, he's, he's someone that uh, I've come to grow very close to, and obviously his legacy speaks for itself. Now it's time to get to work. You know, we're here day one, we've got the draft coming up in a little under three weeks. We got free agency, free agency falling right after that. Now it's time to get with Coach Bud and his staff, the basketball operations staff we have here in place, and we're gonna start working, putting together a plan for the future. Um, it's same for every team this time of year. We, we, ha we have the draft every year, we have free agency every year, so this is gonna be the process moving forward, but being new here, it's time to bunker down with these guys for the next three weeks and get to work so we can make these decisions. What I can tell you today is the philosophy we're gonna have moving forward. As Tony mentioned earlier, we're, we're gonna be player friendly. Uh, I feel like we've got a great base for that. We're gonna continue that. We're going to not only make this a place players want to come, but their families feel a part of the community as well. And that's going to be a big part of what the Hawks basketball organization is going to be moving forward. We're going to be extremely communicative from the top down, from ownership all the way to the bottom of basketball operations. Everyone's going to know what our goal is. They're going to know how they fit into that goal. And we're all going to be pulling on the rope in the same direction, so to speak. As Tony mentioned, I'm a very inclusive person. So everybody's gonna be involved. Uh, I, I accept ideas from everyone. I'm not someone that's gonna sit in a room by themselves and think they have all the answers. We're gonna be inclusive. We're gonna to work together and we're gonna to come to the best decisions that we can make. Finally, we wanna build a championship quality team that's the